I want to see those at the Sunday Times uh, and beyond held to account for their lies. This judicial review, it's the uh, absolute acid test. The press, operating freely and in the public interest, is one of the true safeguards of our democracy. Unfortunately, as the evidence has shown beyond doubt on too many occasions, those responsibilities have simply been ignored. When I set up this inquiry, I also said there would be a second part to investigate wrongdoing in the press and the police. Painstakingly, with the victims, we designed a two-part Leveson process. And the second part was to look, after the criminal trials were over, at who did what to whom and why it happened. Who covered it up? Did the police? Did politicians, did other public servants? This second stage cannot go ahead until the current criminal proceedings have concluded, but we remain committed to the inquiry as it was first established. No ifs, no buts, no maybes, a clear promise and a promise to victims, a promise to victims of the press. And we have the government saying, let's dump this promise. How dare they to the McCanns, the Dowlers, all those other victims? We're living in dangerous times and we now have an opportunity for truth and light to shine and, and I pray to God that, um, that this judicial review shines the light in the direction of justice. My mission now is to make sure that I see justice served and justice done. I want to see those at the Sunday Times uh, and beyond held to account for their lies. That Leveson 2 was the key to that. We need as a nation to set a new legal paradigm at this judicial review it's the absolute acid test because the Leveson inquiry needs to be completed for the sake of the common good.